Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Rani once again from learn-domination.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about a very quick issue that people are facing with Jenkins. Okay, so in the last lecture that I published few days back, where I discussed about how to run the test from Postman, sorry, how to run the test from Jenkins. Okay, using Newman, and now a couple of people are facing few weird issues. Okay, so the one which is very weird issue which people are facing that they are able to get this console which is uh, obviously is not in a readable format right so you can see the couple of uh, english word which is coming fine but when it comes to the formatting right you can see some special characters are coming so if i show you my couple of other logs if you talk about uh, yeah so you can see the standard report should look like this okay so here you can see I have a table of format has some special characters and so on so it looks good but when you see the recent job which i executed so people are getting this kind of encoding issue so this is going to be very quick you just need to add a small parameter and you can fix this issue within few seconds okay so this is what my jenkins is up and running so before i fix this issue let me run this test again so that you can get the same issue so I just executed the same job and uh, it is running now and it executed. So this looks fine. Okay. But when it comes to table format, this table is coming in this format. So what you need to do just first of all, stop the Jenkins. So this is my Jenkins up and running. I will press control C and it should stop. Yeah. Now this is the command that we were running to start Jenkins. Now you just need to add a small key and value so you just need to say hyphen d okay uh, hyphen d and say file dot encoding let me just give some space here so it's file dot encoding equal to utf all in capital letters hyphen 8 and there's some additional space let me remove it here so just say java space hyphen d file dot encoding equal to utf hyphen 8 space this is your regular command okay hyphen jar jenkins var and the port number the moment you hit enter it will start the jenkins but this time it will start the jenkins with this utf 8 file encoding so it will take few seconds to get started so in the meanwhile i will skip this part As you can see now it's Jenkins is fully up and running so now I can go back to Jenkins okay and uh, yeah so before I execute let me clarify one thing if you open the old job okay so this is the job which I executed just now okay and uh, okay it will take some time to load because just now I restarted the Jenkins right so it's taking some time to load okay no problem so let's just launch it again yeah and let me refresh login so it's selenium underscore 50 yes it's logged in so now let me go back to again api test which we executed just now which is this three minutes ago postman test and let me open the recent executed job still the same even though i restarted it is still giving me the old uh, i will say the reporting or the old special character so again when you restart the system these changes will be applicable for the new jobs okay older jobs will still remain same okay so in order to get the correct formatting on the console again you need to build the job then these changes will be reflected okay so now I executed the test. It should come in a proper format now. Here we go. Okay, that was very quick uh, solution. So make sure you just include this small property which I added just now. Hyphen D file dot encoding equal to UTF hyphen eight. I will just give you this command in the description, so you don't have to worry about it. Just copy paste and change the port number based on your um, you know system port, and you're good to go. So that was a quick video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.